The legendary MTLB track Armor Fighting Vigor was developed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s. These vigors of the Russian army were withdrawn from the front lines in the 2010s to make way for a more modern ammo vigors. But with the current reality, Russia is forced to recall them in large numbers. The MTLB was built by the Kharkiv Tractor Factory, initially serving as troop carrier as well as an artillery tractor. The series was officially put into service in the Soviet Red Army in the late 1960s. Originally developed to replace the ATP series of artillery tractors, the MTLB has since become a multi-purpose ammo vehicle with great potential for various weapon systems. The MTLB was produced in large quantities, up to tens of thousands of units, and was very popular used by the Soviet and later Russian and Eastern European armies. The MTLB has a weight of 11.9 tons, a length of 6.45 meters, a width of 2.86 meters, and a height of 1.86 meters. Compared to the BTR-60, 70, or 80 series, the MTLB uses a rear-mounted tube compartment design with a completely different front engine. Soldiers can safely enter and exit from the rear of the vehicle instead of on the roof or side. The vehicle is capable of carrying 11 soldiers or 2 tons of cargo or towing up to 6.5 tons of cargo. The basic firepower of this armor personnel carrier is only a small turret at the front with a 7.62mm PKT machine gun. Although in the role of armor personnel carriers, the MTLB is not as famous as the Wear BTR family, but in the secondary role as the basis for other weapons complexes, the MTLB has a remarkable record. It is used for a variety of weapons platforms, from self-propelled anti-tank missile systems to self-propelled artillery, even anti-aircraft missiles. Several weapon systems are based on this hull. For example, Strela 10 or Snar 10. There is also a light repair and recovery variant, 82 and 120mm motor carriers, combat engineering, reconnaissance vehicle, battlefield radar carriers, armor ambulances, air defense missile carriers, command posts, NBC reconnaissance vehicles, and so on. Although the MTLB has been widely used by the Russian army in the support roles, for a long time it was considered unsuitable for the frontline infantry transport roles due to its limited armor protection. However, during the war in Ukraine, Russia lost thousands of armor vehicles. With the current conflict situation, Russia had to curb back this line of armor in large numbers to meet the actual requirements. <laughs>